Hello, we have a cuboid. We are going to float it in water. The surrounding water is going to exert an upthrust of rho Vg on the cuboid. Can you prove this formula? Remember, the upthrust is actually the resultant of all the pressure forces acting on every point of the cuboid. Since fluid pressure increases with depth, this is a more accurate depiction showing the pressure forces uh, increasing as we go deeper down. If we are looking for the resultant of all these pressure forces, we realize that we can ignore all the horizontal forces acting on the sides. This because for a simple shape like the cuboid, we can easily see that um, every rightward force can be balanced by a leftward force acting on the opposite face of the cuboid. Likewise, all the horizontal forces pushing on the front face is exactly balanced by all the horizontal forces acting on the back face. So the resultant of all these pressure forces would simply be the resultant of the pressure forces acting on the bottom surface only. If we let the cross-sectional area of the cuboid be A, and the fluid pressure at this level, at the bottom of the cuboid, be P1, then the upthrust can be written simply as P1 times A. P1 can be written as H rho G. Next, we note that H times A, which is this uh, H times the cross-sectional area A, that would give us this volume, which is the volume of the water displaced. So we have derived the formula upthrust is rho Vg. Upthrust is the weight of the fluid displaced. Wait, what about the atmospheric pressure? Don't we also have pressure forces acting on this part of the cuboid? So don't we also have a pressure force acting down on the top of the cuboid? That's right. So we actually have to subtract away the downward force that the atmospheric pressure exerts on the top surface of the cuboid. But that also reminds us that we have to add the atmospheric pressure to the pressure due to the liquid column in order to arrive at the actual pressure at every depth of the fluid. Which means the pressure at the bottom of the surface is not just H rho G. It should be H rho G plus atmospheric pressure. Let's make that adjustment in our equation and then you realize, aha, these two terms will actually cancel each other away. So, yep, we'll still arrive at the same uh, formula that the upthrust is rho Vg. You may be thinking, yeah, um, this proof is only for objects with simple shapes like a cuboid. What about for irregularly shaped objects? Well, I've made a video to show that this uh, formula is correct even for an irregularly shaped object. Um, to watch that video, um, just click, um, click, click here. Alright? Okay, see you there. Click here. Bye-bye.